Okay, what's up? Welcome back. We have a lot to talk about in this video. We've unlocked the brand new Scream Jekko and I'm ready to jump right into it. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. So you guys, if you didn't know, uh, EA released a brand new Scream Ed and Jekko card. Uh, it's 87 rated. For some reason, um, they haven't updated the card on the actual objective. I have no idea why they haven't updated the card on the objective, but they haven't apparently. Um, but it's got 83 pace, 85 dribbling, 86 shooting, 73 passing, and 75 physical. Now, if we have a look at it in games real quick, they're pretty decent stats for, um, for a free scream card. He's got some very nice stats indeed. He doesn't really fit this meta hugely. Like, in my opinion, the meta this year is more agile, agile players rather than, um, the taller, uh, stronger players. Uh, but five star weak foot, six foot four, um, good pace. Uh, great finishing, great composure, great reactions, great ball control, good dribbling, appalling agility and balance. But I mean, you're not going to be using this card trying to weave in and out of people, are you? Uh, his jumping's pretty average. Same with aggression. Um, not bad stamina, but not great stamina. Uh, good strength, good heading accuracy. I think this guy up top would be well suited with a very, very pacey striker like Insigne. Um, I think that he'll win some great headers, he'll score some pretty good goals, and he'll run through people quite well as well, in my opinion. Um, and for a free card, you can't really complain, really. Um, so it's decent. So I'm going to talk to you guys about sort of how I did it, uh, the easiest ways to do certain ones, things like that, really. There's six objectives, which in my opinion, they're actually pretty easy as well. It's actually a pretty easy uh, objective to complete. It took me roughly four hours to complete the whole thing. Whereas the previous one we got end on ballet took maybe a bit longer than that, maybe like six or seven hours to complete. Um, so the first one, lethal strike, score five goals using low driven shots in uh, in rivals. Now, if you don't know how to do low driven, it's really easy. It's these two bumpers. It's L L1 and R1 or LB and RB together at the same time. Um, they shoot it low. Now, I will say, be careful because this will make the shot both manual and pretty difficult to score. I would only personally do this, for example, when you sweat the ball to a player um, or when you've got a guaranteed shot off that you know you're going to score, I'd take it with a low driven. If you're trying to come in from an angle with your striker, a lot of the time these won't go in. Sometimes they will, but a lot of the times they won't. It is a bit of a skill to master. Um, so you might struggle with this one. Uh, starting off, but then obviously you become quite um, catered to it. Like I said, L1, R1 at the same time, um, and then shoot normally. You can apply quite a lot of power to these as well. Um, you know, two or three bars from close in the area will do the trick because it will stay quite low. Now for this one, you actually get a jack-o'-lantern ball, which in my opinion is one of the coolest rewards EA have ever released. This reward is dope. This is going to be active in my club for probably the rest of Ultimate Team, depending on what they choose to release in the near future. Uh, the next one, uh, we'll go we'll go with Giant Slayer. Now, this is score a goal using players with a max of 75 pace and a minimum of 80 physical in three separate rival wins. Now, uh, I combined uh, Giant Slayer with Steady Wins, um, which is this one. Assist 10 goals using forwards with a max 83 dribbling and a minimum of 70 passing in rival matches. And I also uh, matched this one up with uh, Bosnian Diamond, which is score a goal from across using a Syria player in four separate rival matches. Now, I used Mario Manzuka. In fact, I'll show you the team I used for these three. We'll, uh, we'll quickly... Um, We'll quickly grab all of the rewards for these three. So we want Giant Slayer, Slow and Steady Wins, and Bosnian Diamond. We'll collect all three of the rewards for these, which are pretty decent rewards as well. A couple of nice free packs in there and a Hunter card, which is always nice. Um, so we'll take all three of these. Now, I actually made a team for this, and I'll talk you through why I made it. So the first one, um, Giant Slayer. Now, I went with Mandzukic for this one, like I said, and I also bought Super Sub. This is not the team I used. This is my main weekend league team. Um, if we go over, I'll show you the team I used. I, I, I This is the Squad Battles one, which we'll talk about in a little bit as well. Just completely spoiled it, but... <laughs> um, so it is Objectives. This is the one that I used. So this is the team that I used. Now... Um, for example, Giant Slayer, obviously I use Mandzukic. Uh, it did take me a lot of games. It took me like, like you see seven games. Now I quit four of those games, uh, because, or sorry, I quit 
three of those games and played out one of them, mainly because um, I knew I wasn't going to win. I was at a disadvantage compared to my opponent's team, even though I've got Ronaldo. Yeah, I know it might sound silly, um, but it was just really difficult. Now, the reason why I went with Mandzukic is because he's six foot three with 85 jumping and 88 aggression. This guy is ridiculously good in the air. Um, and you can combine Giant Slayer uh, with Bosnian Diamond because um, obviously crossing it in, you'll find uh, that he'll win a lot of headers. Now, obviously, Ronaldo and uh, Mandzukic both win a lot of headers in the air. So I found it a lot easier to play uh, the Bosnian Diamond with these two up front. Uh, I, I did obviously have to play through uh, Mandzukic a lot. Now, he is very slow. You will notice that he's incredibly slow and no chem style actually will change that, unfortunately. He's just ridiculously slow. So you want to get the ball away from him as much as possible until he's inside the penalty area and then he'll typically score now uh the next one which is of course um it is the 10 goals in separate rival ones i forget what it's called it's called um slow and steady wins so the next one slow and steady wins um which is the 10 assists with forwards um with a max of 83 dribbling and a minimum of 70 passing i went with Jervinho because he's got 79 dribbling and i went with lozano because he's got 83 dribbling and 73 passing now a forward is a striker a center forward a left wing and a right wing cams aren't forwards center mids aren't forwards cdms aren't forwards and then they don't count as forwards if you change a cdm to a striker either that does not count so you can't convert for example um like a kevin de bruyne to striker he won't be a forward in game um it is people that before position change items are forward so left wings right wings that are default left wings and right wings strikers and center forwards that are default strikers and center forwards really um like i said i would rec recommend wingers uh you'll find that a lot of uh, central players have either high dribbling or higher passing um i would personally go with wingers like i said lozano eight assists there for me javinio don't think got many assists he only got one assist for me um and manzukic himself actually counted as one as well because he's got less than 83 dribbling and more than 70 passing and he got two assists for me too so um that one was really easy i was just whipping the ball in a lot with uh lozano and javinho um and what i did was as well and you got to make sure this one for giant slayer with the one with manzukic make sure you have a super sub Manzukic is just not good enough against sweats in rivals. He really isn't. And with a lot of people in the higher divisions relegating themselves to the lower divisions, you'll find that he is really, really difficult to use in a main squad. So once you've scored with him, sub him off. I subbed him off for Messi. Um, and then you'll find it's a lot easier to play the ball with uh, a player you're more comfortable with. So for example, if you have players like Rashford or Vardy on the bench, uh, sub them on for, for Manzukic once you've scored with him. Um, You'll find it a little bit easier as well. Uh, now, the crossing, crossing, like I said, it's not that easy. One thing that I found quite easy with crossing is is not actually running down the ring, crossing it into a box full of people. It's counter-attacking, doing passing moves, and then waiting until you're in an opportunity to sweat. But instead of sweating, you just chip it up over the goalkeeper or over the defender, and you head it in from there. You'll find that there is quite a lot of, um, of, of difficulty sometimes with this. You'll find your players sometimes miss you find your players sometimes have uh, struggles with it. But what you'll find typically is it's a lot easier to score those than it is to score typical sweats. That didn't make sense. I meant to say it's a lot easier to score sweat sweats than it is to score typical crosses. But you'll find it's a lot easier to score crosses when you're one-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper and you've got a player approaching than it is to whip the ball in and try and win a header in a box full of defenders. Because typically the defender wins, even with Mandzukic and Ronaldo, you find the, the, the defender wins so much this year so um if i were you i would try and get one-on-one -on -one situations and then chip the ball across to your uh, your opponent uh what you'll find as well is that crosses uh cross goals do count if you volley the ball instead of heading it they do still count so if you cross the ball to a player that volleys it that will still count so that is um that is it now why what, what i actually did i wrote down on a notepad um a little uh tick sheet you'll find this quite easy open up notepad on a computer or, or phone or something um, and write down what you need to do per game. So I have score with Mandzukic in brackets win needed. So if I score with Mandzukic, I'd know I'd have to sweat out the win if I'm against a good player. Um, and if I score with Mandzukic against a poor player, I know I can just carry on. But if I score with Mandzukic against a good player, I'll need to sub on Messi and really go for the win. Um, assist with wingers in brackets, no uh, win needed because you don't actually need the win when you do the assist with wingers. Um, and I'm using the wingers to assist. That's why I called it assist with wingers. Um, score for across again no win needed for that but I, I put that and then score low drivens as well um i scored low drivens pretty easily i got that done in two games uh the crosses obviously four games or five games um i think i think it cost me five games the manzukic one i did it in uh 
as you saw, like five games, I think it was, but I, I quit a bunch of games and stuff like that, really. Um, he does have seven games on it, but I was using this I was using this team not only for the Mandzukic gold, um, but I was also using it for the crossing too. Um, and then uh, that is pretty much it. So I just wrote it down and then ticked them off as I was doing them. So I knew that if I scored with Mandzukic in the game, I could sub him, sub him off. If I scored from a cross, I knew that I didn't need to keep going for crosses. I could go with normal build-up play goals. Um, and it just made life a lot easier for those. So um, that's why I'd advise, I'd advise doing a bunch of checklists. You'll find it a lot easier. Um, now for the squad battles one, I did kind of just show you guys my team. Uh, now you need, uh, for squad battles, you need to play on professional difficulty, which isn't difficult at all. You'll find it pretty easy. Um, and then you just want to use a player, uh, sorry, a team with at least one Premier League player, one Bundesliga player, and one City F player. Now this is the team that I went for. Um, and the reason why I went for this is because Ronaldo is obviously my main team. I find it easy to use Ronaldo. I have some really good players here in Royce, Nabry, Nedved, people like that. And then a pretty good Premier League defense. Um, just use teams that you're pretty comfortable with. I swapped to the 4 triple two in game which is what i'm comfortable with just literally play um with teams you're comfortable with professional squad battles difficulty especially against really poor teams in squad battles is really easy to beat um they really do not feel good at all uh for example i was playing against squads like this this is so easy to beat i beat it 11 nil it's it's ridiculously easy and even if you do take a lot more points uh, sorry a lot more games to play you rank up more points and you'll get higher up in squad battles meaning you get better rewards at the end of the week um so really it's a win-win even if it takes you a little bit longer you're still gonna uh, end up in a big win situation so uh we'll go ahead and take the squad battles one off because it was really easy um and it's pretty self-explanatory now survive the scream you have to score 10 goals in survival now one thing i will say that you might find um pretty surprising in survival I, so first of all, I just use my normal weekend league squad. Use the team that you're used to. Your normal weekend league squad is the team you should be using for this. Do not use um, a team you're not comfortable with because you will struggle a lot. Uh, just use the team that you are comfortable with. Um, you won't struggle a lot, but you will struggle a little bit more. Now remember, now games in survival and online friendlies do not count to record. So you can use your loan players um, and it won't count towards a game on their loans. So if you have a bunch of really good loans and you've only got one game left, you might as well throw them into your squad to make your squad st stronger. Use the uh, formation you're used to um, and you'll find it a lot easier to do that. So uh, so throw in a bunch of loans and, uh, and just have at it really. After six goals, you don't lose any more players on your squad. So if you're six all with your opponent, you can literally just go at it. You can easily score 10 goals in one game. I did it myself. I literally did it in one game. I scored uh, 11 goals in one game. It's really, really easy. Um, and it's pretty self-explanatory, really. So just use a team that you're very comfortable with, throw in some loans to bulk up your squad, make it, you know, stronger. Uh, and that's how you, you'll you find it'll be a little bit easier doing that, really. So uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, and claim this. Um, and we have finished the group, which is pretty awesome. Um, I'm really happy about that. So we're going to go ahead and claim the reward for the Edin Dzeko group, which means, of course, we have we get the Edin Dzeko, but unfortunately, it doesn't want to show the actual card. It just shows not found, which is kind of stupid, a little bit disappointing, but it is what it is, I guess. I can't really do anything about that. I've never seen EA have this bad of a bug before. Like, this is really bad, um, but you can't really do a whole lot about it, I guess. We'll go ahead and store him in the club, though. Um, and I'm really happy that I've completed him. There you go. All it took was a back out real quick, and we can actually see the official Scream card for Jekko, which is really cool. And I'm really glad EA are bringing out cool free content like this. It just makes it a lot more fun. Let's see if it's updated on here as well. Has it updated? I hope it has. It'll look a lot cooler um, if it has. Let me quickly go check if it has updated real quick. Yay, there we go. So it has updated. That is really cool. Uh, it looks a lot cleaner with the actual card on. So I guess the only thing we have left to do is open up these free packs and see if we can get anything good. So we've got a premium gold pack, jumbo gold pack, electron players pack, and a small electron players pack. I guess we'll go with the small electron players pack first. We'll see if we can get anything good from this. I highly doubt it because it's only three goals and one rare. And it actually was a rare goal, which is nice. But unfortunately, it's probably not going to be anything good. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip that because I'm not expecting anything from this. And we get Falk. And they are untradeable. So uh, anything we do get will not be uh, sellable, unfortunately. We'll go with the premium gold pack next. At least from EA, this is a really cool way of getting some free consumables. If anything else, that is, that is pretty cool in my opinion. Um, I'm happy that, you know, they are giving us free packs of not a terrible stature as well uh in previous years we probably get like a contracts pack for example um or something along those lines so at least we're getting you know 
decent packs in return. We'll go with the Electrum Plays pack next and then go with the Jumbo Gold pack last. So let's see if we can probably not get anything good, but you never know, hopefully. Um, but like I said, no, it's good that they're giving out good rewards and the free cards this year have been pretty dope so far. They are really good at what they're doing with uh, with objectives this year i'm really excited for more uh, and hopefully next week we get another scream card that's going to be on the same level if not better than ed and jeko we will have to see though and with the jumbo gold pack unfortunately none of them are going to be aboard wasn't expecting anything of the sort from them anyway um and we get ourselves absolutely nothing but hey we get the discard value of these players left so i might as well just swap all these over and discard these players because i might as well take the free coins rather than discard untradeable zero value players um there we go and we got ourselves two and a half k back so that is the uh scream jeco objective completed if you enjoyed leave a like down below subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here thank you all for watching and i'll see you lads later